back to Feed the Beast Agrarian Skies, I'm CG Survivor and today we're going to be continuing with our former Toshi's exploration into Formcraft so we can automise or smelting with Formcraft. But first a few changes around the base. Now this one kind of happened a while ago, I kind of sort of forgot about it. When I was telling you, I first got this, which is just an old spec chicken farm, vanilla, just chickens sitting on top of a hopper, dropping their eggs, and that's going into a barrel. Now over here, I have a interesting little thing. I've got a dispenser with a redstone clock, and that turns off when you apply a redstone signal to it, and it automatically fires eggs into a half slab, so they break instantly and don't damage chickens. And then once they're all grown, I come over the top and whack them with the broadsword so I can get the chicken and the aspects that they drop um, they drop the form craft aspects which you can pick up in your wand now another thing is if we come over here have I got the thing that I need yes oh yeah um, I got a new food chicken hot pie which okay I need to change something um, it's just some chicken, which is what that chicken's for, and some potato, carrots, and some dough. Let me just quickly change that. I hate having it on R because R's the recipe button. Now, if we come over here, we have some tofu and soya milk, which you get by using the presser to make tofu, to compress, well, compress, press, whatever, soybeans into soya milk and soft tofu which you then recompress the soft tofu into firm tofu. Now if we go into Hell's Kitchen, this was a quest that I saw early on, which you need to craft the presser and then you need to make these. So we'll manually submit these and voila, we got a reward. So let's get a heart, 17 hearts, and we got a greater reward bag. Let's see what we got. A writing pick. Ooh, that means the top's made of paper. Let's have a, look, a proper look at it. So, ooh, that's pretty bad mining speed. But, um, it may be good. It's got a formium binding, which means it has another writing. Hmm, maybe. I'll stick that over here for now, and we can have a look at it. So, what I also did between last episode and this is I went to the Nether. Oh, I also set it up so it automatically pumps the lava out of the crucibles and automatically pumps cobblestone in there. Oh. Um. Yeah, you should be pumping out right. Oh, I set it to ignore. <laughs> Silly me. Yes, I set up this so it automatically pumps cobblestone into these it'll start filling it up now as you can see that one's filling up on the right and then this one might fill up I don't know it will fill up this is how it does it you are filling up right yes they're pumping it out somewhere a couple of going to one of them I don't know I think it was this one it started filling up yeah it started filling up this one now so we have cobblestone now if we go into the nether and we have a look on my minimap, and in the area around you, you can see, like Spike, um, different things called Ignis, Aqua, and all that. They're aura nodes, and they can only be found in the Nether due to the way they created the overworld by deleting all the blocks that were there. So I came here, found all these aura nodes, and, well, labeled them and drained them for the aura. So the last two things is I set up a redstone furnace where I would put my jungle logs, which I'm chopping down up there, into here to make charcoal so I can power my steam dynamos. Now another thing is to do with the former Nomicon. I started researching, lots of research, just so I could get ahead into it. And here's some of the things that I've researched. That was an accident, I did totally not mean to do that. Some of these were essential, some of them are bonuses like the runic armour, the goggles and the boots of the traveller, which will be nice once I get round to them, but for now, oops, I cannot. 
and one of the most interesting ones is this one, which is Sky Alchemy, which is an add-on for Formcraft that allows it to work in the sky. So we've got some Formium Hammer, Silver Leaf, Cinder Bell, and some other things that will be very hard to craft normally, but this allows it to be done easier. Plus, there's a great wood crafting recipe, which needs jungle saplings, which I'm conveniently collecting due to my jungle tree. Although, those aspects, that's just plain ridiculous what you need the amount there. But yeah, so, we've got a quest in Formcraft, which requires us to hand in a gold cap and a focus pouch. So we go into our book, and we find Euro Wizard Sleeve. We will have Wands of Power, which is a focus pouch and a gold cap. Minus submit, claim reward. So we got our heart, and we got a great reward bag. And what's in this reward bag? Oysters. I couldn't care less. Okay, let's have a look at what the next quest. So we've got. We need to hand in an arcane work table and a deconstruction table. Well, we've got an arcane work table there, and a deconstruction table. I believe is here. We have it, which is a gold axe, a gold pick, a table, and four meter. Now, don't forget to scan everything you craft in Formcraft. For example, the gold pick and the gold axe. So, let's uh, take you out of there. I was planning on doing something else. And um, we grab ourselves our Formcraft gear to reduce the cost. If we put our axe. Oh, wait. You also need one of these which may also need scanning like so and we put this our 4 meter and our axe and pick oh we need 20 per dito I do believe this one has enough ah uh, yes and this allows you to get aspects now if we throw this down and give this a scan and we pick up our arcane work table and we go into this quest book we can manually submit this and we'll get these two items back so we'll claim our reward and we can put you down we can put our deconstruction table down we can have a look at our reward bag for a greater reward bag bacon jerky no oh well it's food food's food who cares Lastly, our heart. So now that we have the deconstruction table, what else? We've got sky block magic, which is. Ooh. Now create a great wood sapling. Now that. It's very nice. And that reward. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. And we've also got some basic alchemy. So I think I'll start off with the alchemy and then I'll go and do the complicated great wood because. You need the alchemy to do this, to make the great wood. Right, so I've been getting everything ready, and this is what I've got ready so far. But I've hit a problem. If we look at the recipe for the alchemical centrifuge, we need an alchemical construct, which we also need to submit one of these. So we need two of these. So I was looking at the recipe, I was going around and did all these, and I thought, oh wait, great wood planks. I need a great wood tree. Which means we're going to have to make a great wood through this, which is six witch water. I can really have six barrels of witch water, which will make six buckets of witch water, a shimmer leaf, and a cinder pearl. Which means we need to make a infusion altar, which means we need to make the sky matrix, which is the runic matrix through the sky. So. First things first, the runic matrix. Right, so let's make a few more arcane stone because we're going to need some for some more crafting recipes. So you and you. Then we're going to need our runic matrix, which is one, two, three, four in the corners, and a pearl in the center, and four mixed crystals. Make sure you scan these because they contain a lot of valuable stuff which means we're going to need the other wand oh, don't tell me about yep they're both out of aqua okay back to the nether to get some more aspects 
and with the aspects retrieved from the nether we can create ourselves a runic matrix which we are now going to scan because we scan everything because these things from formcraft contain a lot of aspects so if we go back over to artifice and we take a look at infusion this is a normal one but it requires 40, 40 auto which the only one that can carry that much I do believe is the great wood and the only way to get great wood is through infusion you see how it's making use the more expensive recipe for resources but less for aspects we're going to need some arcane pedestals and then we're going to need to craft it like so so I'm going to keep create, uh, let's see, how many arcane pedestals we need two, four, six, eight hopefully and we'll use this one oh, six uh, we're going to need some more of that stone and we're going to need that so I need another two shards if my math serves me right I should need I'm running low on shards and need to make some more that means some more stone um, did I have some? I'm sure I had a chest I'll take that stone as well thought I had some stone on me somewhere and we'll just make a load more of this so two circles of you a shard of you and a shard of you we'll make another one of these don't tell me the amount of aspects I don't want to use this one because it's perfect for creating the infusion altar um, and with another trip to nether we now have what we need so actually you need nine arcing pedestals for the crafting recipe that I want well the infusion altar that I'm going to be using so this is how to set up your infusion altar you want to find the center spot where you want to put it which is here for me count out into the corners well not count out to the corners on each corner do that I think it is them on the bottom right yeah so those ones on the bottom which is made by putting four of these in the infusion in the crafting grid and you get the arcane stone then these lot on top and lastly um, put you there you there you, the infusion matrix stood floating in the air where's this one then we want to put our infusion stuff so our pedestals Remember, these don't need to be done yet the main structure is that and that is done put these here put you up there and take our fully charged wand with our former Turgis gear on, this is the only way to do it. And voila, we have the runic matrix. Gives a quick spin and then starts glowing purple. And we now have an infusion altar. Which means we can start infusion crafting, but first we need to start melting down aspects. Which is done with an arcane alembic and alchemical furnaces. So give me a second now one more thing that we're gonna need are some jars which are crafted like so and they're not too expensive so we need our aqua and there we have eight jars now we're gonna take our essentia tubes a alchemical furnace and an arcing lamp and we need this is what's gonna get complicated we need 64 of every aspect plus 128 of arbor so we've got seven aspects but we need 128 arbor which each jar hold, hold, holds 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 64 so that's why i needed eight jars so we're going to get started we're going to just put this down here i'm going to put this here we're going to get down our first jar now we'll probably need some more also to create those um, vis filters you can use silk mesh which is nine string per silk mesh so I had to start using the silkworms again to get more silk <sighs> that is a lot of silk well a lot of string but anywho so we need to start melting down some aspects which is going to be complicated and I might actually need a few more whoa I have a lot of things that give me arbor um, what's it called 
jars so I can store excess um, these things if um, you know what I mean if they flow into the rock if I when I'm breaking down stuff because of the combinations of different stuff I may not be able to get a perfect breakdown so let's get melting down aspects right so we got a few more things we need to craft through foam craft before we can perform this infusion so I've stuck a few magical things around it so clusters heads and what I'm going to make next reduces the chance of flux destroying knocking off the destroying or knocking off these items or causing damage to the player and if we ever look at um, where is it this infusion st instability dangerous I think I want to reduce the chance of things being knocked off so what we want to create here is some magic tallow so I'm going to put two magic to one rotten flesh and this should leave some herber in so we'll put the rest of this in now we have that and if you whack this with your wand uh, shift whack it with your wand it'll get rid of the leftover aspects in there and just make taint fly up into the sky now to fill this cauldron you just merely fill it with water now if you take this magic tallow with some string you can make some candles if I like oh it doesn't work like that oh right um I'm gonna to need to make a bit more dye but the idea is we're gonna put these candles here because you can walk through them and they also provide light so let's just grab a few more pieces of dye that created four so I need another two now let's see um, some dye two of you and four of you I decided to go with purple because purple is foam crafty if you look at the foam Maturgis robe there's a lot of purple plus those goggles make my skin look crazy just look at it but yep yeah, there's that combine those two together and we get some purple tallow candles so we'll put these here doesn't matter about it looking good I wanted it to be symmetrical I also think that helps with this ability as well it being symmetrical not sure though and now we should have a very stable infusion altar so we'll get a scheduled update from backup or whatever from aroma core now we have 128 arbor 64 aqua 64 terra 64 petito 64 air 64 auto and 64 ignis now we have our six um witch water buckets but we also need two of the plants from Thorngraft and I can never remember the names a shimmer leaf and the cinder pearl now to create these you do it in a crucible similar to what we did before now I've worked out what I need to do I need to put four nether wart with some water most likely um, so I'm doing it this way because you also need permutatio and you get two from Quicksilver and it also gives you the poison. Now you need four poison, four permutatio. We also need four permutatio for this recipe. And this bit is giving me eight. And you may have just heard a dog bark. That's next door neighbours. So water's boiling. So I'll show you it. This may make sense. Four of you. You four. Then you four. You two. And we got a cinder pearl we've just got a bit of magic and a bit of iron left and this will probably create oh some floating taint I was thinking that would create dropping taint because it's heavy because it's made of iron but again logic isn't always logical because sometimes you can get late 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 taint that runs along the floor so it acts like water but slightly different so now that we have this shimmer leaf and this cinder pearl I ought to make another one of these in case this infusion crafting goes sour and it destroys one of the items 
you know what? Let me go craft that. Right, so I've made a few more of the witch water. Well, I've got another bucket of witch water and I made another cinder pearl and a shimmer leaf. So we should be ready to perform this infusion. And that is a lot of aspects to go into it. This may take a while, to tell you the truth, but this is a crucial step. As I said, it knocks the off. Fortunately, that just knocked it off and didn't destroy it. I'll clean up that taint in the future. By the future, I mean after this infusion, because I've got more important priorities in keeping this lot monitored. So, yeah. This is a crucial step in getting towards Great Woods. Now, I don't know whether you actually need a 4x4 to craft Great Woods. I hope not. Otherwise, this is going to be very complicated. You know what, this is going to take too long. We'll be back once this infusion is done. Right, we're coming close to the end of the infusion. Now it's just going to absorb all the items. So far, I've lost a... Oh, it leaves the buckets behind. Oh, that is very nice. I've lost a bucket of witch water. It destroyed the bucket and the witch water, unfortunately. But hey, that's only free iron and some water. I can't moan. Wait. Yes, a great wood sapling. Now, I'll need to go check whether this actually will grow on its own, just being one sapling on, it, oh, on its own. So let me go find that out. Right, so you only need one great wood sapling to grow a Thorncraft great wood. Now, if we hit F3 and we have a look, it will grow to south so it checks the south side the east side and the south east side which is this block that they are clear and if so it will grow and there's dirt beneath it if so it can grow and the problem with great wood saplings is you can't bone meal them so it's a waiting game so I'll be back once this great wood sapling grows Oh goody, the tree has grown. So, time to get some great wood, so we need... That should be enough actually. And now we can finally create what we wanted to try and create. So, should only need one piece. So we go into our thing and we grab what we should be needing. Let's see now, let's see if I can remember how this is done. Um, it's two in the middle. You two there, two there, and ah yes, two of you. Then I need one of you, one of you, one of you, and you two. Oh, of course, I run out of vis. Back to the never. So we've got the vis now. We need the alchemical centrifuge and. I also need another one of those crucible furnace things, um, so I need you, I need you like that, I need a furnace, take the cauldron, put it down, whack it with the wand, grab you and put you in there, and now we have another alchemical furnace and we should be able to hand in the quest. Now, I also forgot to hand in Skyblock Magic Quest, so we'll manually submit that one now. now. I could get a wooden golem, a green heart canister, or a yellow heart canister. Now, golems are renewable. Um, just let me have a look at the heart canisters. And the, I don't. Oh, so you can. Oh, you can make them. Okay, the top tier is green, so I'll take a green heart canister. We can take that. Now, if we go into the Tinker's Construct and we put this heart canister here, we get a gold heart. Now, each slot in here can hold 10. 10 extra hearts. Each one adds an extra 20 hit points. You start off with 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 hit points you have. That is a ridiculous amount of hit points. I'm not going to say no to them. 
So now that we have that, we can also eat this heart. Have a look at this raw bag. Limestone. I think that's for mariculture because mariculture, you need to use limestone for something. And done that. Let's have a look at alchemy. Manually submit. Claim reward. Full heart. And another great reward. Now that is good. That stuff is not only a pain to make, but with that, that makes life easier. So, let's have a look what's next in the question. Also, we got a Silverwood sapling, and they're just great. No matter what you say, they're just great. So, we've got, we need to make a Jane, a Jane in a bra. A Jane in a bra? A bra in a Jane. A Jane? What's happening to my English? Brain in a jar. Good. And I also need a brain. But I've got a feeling that this episode's coming to an end. Let me just have a quick check. Ooh, we're running quite over 26 minutes. Sorry about the extended video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comments and questions, drop them down below. Stay well and Survivor out.